Hey, what's up you guys? It's your gal Jenny June. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and into today's video. We have a huge Dollar Tree haul. This is over a hundred dollars and stuff behind me and we're going to go through it together and see what I got. I went to two different Dollar Trees. They were on the same road. Um, I think about three miles apart so I hit them both up. They are officially my new favorite Dollar Trees. They were extremely clean, extremely organized. The first one I went to, I spent the most money in. I spent $80 in there. And then the second one, I spent over $20 in there. So I think I ended up spending like $105, $106, something like that. Maybe even a little bit more with the taxes. So let's see what I got. Grab a snack, grab a drink, because you just might need it. Here we go. All right, guys, this is bag number one. Okay, Dollar Tree time. So I'm a Snyder's pretzel girl. I love pretzels in general. So sometimes you find these in Dollar Trees and sometimes you don't. So I went ahead and grabbed me a bag of these for a dollar. This is not a bad price. This is a 10 ounce bag. Pretty great big old size for that. I grabbed this Pop Weaver Kettle Corn Popcorn. I love Kettle Corn Popcorn. I've never had this brand before. I've never tried popcorn from the Dollar Tree, but I thought three bags for a dollar. Try it and see what I think. Have you guys ever had this before? What do you think about it? I mean, they had the regular flavor too, but I'm just a kettle corn. I love it. Sometimes I just get on that kick. So let me know if you've had it, if it's good or not. Okay, I needed to grab some of these little kitchen bags. I use these for like my trash cans in my laundry room, my bathrooms, um, my office, and use the really good trash bags for my kitchen. Um, but these are nice. They last for a long time. You get 22 bags in here, and they usually have a scent. This is a vanilla scent. And technically, you could use these in your kitchen because they are 13 gallons, and that's typically the can that the can size that you would have in your kitchen. So I am excited about these. I haven't had to purchase them in a while, but I did grab me some of those. Got some Easter items with some glitter on them, but they got on my shades, my new shades. Look how cute these are. I love this color. I just thought those are cute for a buck. I am so hard on sunglasses. So I snagged these on up. I thought they were pretty cool with all these <laughs> tags on there. But they're cute and they kind of got that mirrored look on the front. That polarized look. So for a dollar, why not? They're fun. Alright, getting into some Easter stuff. Kind of what's sparkling everywhere are these little things. These are the foam eggs. And you can hang them in a little tree. And I'm going to tell you my plan with those when I get to something else in my bag. Um, Finn, my four-year-old son, loves sunglasses too. Even when it was ice and snow outside and the sun was out, he had to have on a shade. So he's like, Mom, he's like, I gotta have sunglasses on. So I usually grab a couple pairs for him because, of course, he's four. They are very hard on sunglasses. So I grabbed just a navy pair for him. And then they had Easter eggs. So many cute Easter eggs, you guys. Um, again, I have a boy. And I think these will be great to fill for his Easter egg basket, for his Easter egg hunt. Um, these are adorable. These are eight pieces. Um, looks like two of them are sharks right there. We've got a couple of starfish there in the middle. I think this yellow one is supposed to be like a little puffer fish. Okay, and then we got one that looks like um, Nemo, and two more sharks down there at the bottom. So I just thought these were great and fun, and this would be really cute for, for Finn. All right, let's get into this bigger bag right off the top. They had this thing, and it's just the cutest. Um, it is a supposed to just be a two-piece set but It looks like I got three bunnies in here. No, it is two. It's two bunnies So you can he's just so cute. They had different colors. I got blue because Finn likes blue So I can put some fun little stuff in here for him for Easter 
Um, and for a dollar, I just thought it was precious. Okay, so it comes apart like so. All right, I got him all together. I mean, this would even be something cute you could sit around your house for decoration. So, um, and he can play with this after Easter and have a little bit of fun with it. Um, last year, I think they had eggs and I did see the eggs, but I don't recall seeing bunnies last year. So I don't know if this is something new this year or not, but I did grab the cutest little bunny. I needed some new um, tissue paper. So I grabbed me several different packs. Sometimes the Dollar Trees have this stuff and sometimes they don't, at least the ones around close to me. I mean, this Dollar Tree I went to had everything and I was just loving it. So I got a pack of these bold colors. There's 24 sheets in there. Got this pack I had never seen before. It's kind of got your little decorations on there. I thought that was very, very cute. And there's only eight sheets in here, but with the print and stuff, it's kind of unique. And then I got these, it's 10 sheets. These are really cute, pretty colors and like they got little speckles or dots specs on them I guess. I thought those were cute so I grabbed those. And then I grabbed a package of the 24 pastel colors. And then I needed to grab some gift bags. So this was a two piece set. I really love this pretty shade of pink. It's like a pale pink. It's so pretty. Almost coral like. Um, got some guys I need to get some birthday gifts to so I got green for guys. Plus, my brother is one of those, and uh, his favorite color is green. Then I grabbed these. I've heard a lot of great things about these, they, that they last a long time. This is a push light. It does require three AAA batteries, but I heard that these last a long time. Let's go ahead and open these up. I can show you one real quick. They do already come with the adhesive so that you can stick it to a wall or whatever you're wanting to do with it. You can also use this little hook if you need to hang it on something you could do that or I don't know even set it up for light towards something but they're pretty powerful I don't have batteries in here with me I should have probably grabbed a pack but you just push them on and off I have a closet uh, it's a coat closet I'm going to stick these in because there's no light in there and I always like feel like I can't see what I'm looking inside of there so I'm going to put a couple of these in there so there is one of those, and here is the second one. Right here is our next bag. I really needed these, they were on my to-do list, and I found them. Brillo pads for a dollar, and you get eight of them in here. I don't know how much these are at Walmart and such. It's been a long time since I bought them, but I really needed some, and was so happy to see them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they are the actual Brillo pad brand. Okay. I saw somebody get this and I was so tickled pink when I found it because when I saw someone else's video on it and I don't know who to give the credit to I don't remember I watch a lot of Dollar Tree haul videos so I'm not quite sure but I was like I want that and I didn't find it I almost want to say this was out last year or maybe it was this year that I saw it on somebody's video but this is the cutest little thing look at these little bunny tushies are they not the cutest I mean, that is just precious. So this is just a wood plaque with your burlap string to hang it with that says welcome. And I just think these glittery bunnies on that background with their little bushy tails is just the cutest for a dollar. And I think the person that got this did a DIY with it. I don't know, but I think it's cute and great to use it just like it is. And that's my plan. All right, so those are the Easter eggs were very cute. I have a little boy. He also loves dinosaurs. So these are like the little dinosaur eggs. There's only four in this package. But I thought those were cute and I couldn't resist them. So I got him those. I did go ahead and get him some things for his Easter egg basket. Like I said, he is into dinosaurs. So they have these little dino skins. Um, it has an egg inside of it and it is filled with Smarties candies. So, and this is kind of like that. I don't know, squishy ball kind of feel, so he'll be very happy to have this. 
Finn loves SpaghettiOs with the meatballs. If they do not have the meatballs, he won't eat them. I know you can get these generally at Walmart for about 98 cents, 96 cents. Um, but my Walmart is always out of them. So I went ahead and spent the extra four cents and got him a can of these. And then I did get him, he loves M&M's, my little boy does. So I got him some M&M's, just some plain chocolate ones for his Easter egg basket. And then I want to um, try again to get some hummingbirds around here this year. So I saw this um, hummingbird nectar. So it's the feed for the actual hummingbirds. And it's only a dollar. There's probably only about this much in it when it's, you know, kind of squished out the way I'm holding the package. Um, but it looks safe to feed them. You add some water into it and you stir until it's dissolved and then you can pour that into your actual hummingbird feeder and I had these before and these are just a dollar so I'm gonna put it in here and I have a little hook and everything ready to go this girl is ready for spring to be here I am a spring and summer girl I'm so excited cannot wait for it but hopefully this will attract a hummingbird hummingbird so I'm gonna see how well that does if you guys have ever used this did you get any hummingbirds with it? Let me know. And then I do have Cricut and saw this cute just little collar for a dollar. I'm hoping it fits her. It's pink. It's cute. Um, it's for small dogs. Fits neck size 10 to 16 inches. It's hard to, I don't know. These things can be really expensive in Walmart even or the pet stores, pet smart places like that. So I thought, why not just grab this for a dollar? It's cute and see how well it does. So I did and I have it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I did pick up a second bag of this just in case it did good because um, the lady at the store said these sell really well. She was like, we usually run out of stock. So I was like, okay, if they're running out of stock on these things, then they must work. So I need two bags. So I did get a second one of those. They had these in all sorts of colors. I did get the gray. I was excited about this color. These things are awesome. I love the size and the style of this. You can put your eyeshadow palettes in here, your face palettes, any kind of makeup in here and have it stand up. You can sit it in the corner with your books in it. Um, notepads, different things like that. <sighs> Kitchen gadgets in your cabinets. This is one of my favorite designs as far as storage opportunities, things to do, getting organized. This is my favorite, and I love this shade. It's just a neutral shade. That way I can use it anywhere. I did end up picking up one, two, three, four, five of these. They're all stacked together. So I got five of those. Also got this bag of eggs, super cute. And this one has one golden egg in it right there which I thought would be cute we've got a bunch of kids in my family there's a big hair hanging on my shirt there um, so I'm sure we'll have an Easter egg hunt we didn't do Easter last year because of COVID so I'm hoping we get to do Easter this year because I'm ready with my eggs over here I'm like hey and we usually fill them with coins or candy and things like that it's Easter time you gotta get some treats in there all right next bag these were super cute too they're Easter cross containers, and they're little, obviously, obviously little crosses, um, blue, pink, purple, yellow. I thought those were simply adorable um, to fill, and you can even throw these in with the Easter egg hunt and put these out there. I just thought they were cute, and it's a definite representation of what Easter is all about and that Christ has risen. All right, I found these. This is by the brand Palmer which I know makes pretty good chocolate, and I've never seen this. This is a springtime snack mix. It has peanut butter filled surprises, no, peanut butter filled shapes, pretzel sticks, and peanuts. And those are like three of my favorite things. So I got one of these for myself, and if Finn won't eat them, a package for him. I'll put one in his basket, and maybe I'll snack on one now in moderation. So I grabbed this. This is the Trolley Sour Bright Gummy Bunnies for Finn's Easter egg basket. He is like most kids out there in the fact that he loves gummies and he loves sour things. So I picked him up those. 
Finn loves the color blue, so I got him some little Skittles and an Easter egg to also put in his basket. And he loves Skittles. I do have an electric can opener, but somebody once asked me, why do you not have a can opener? Just a handheld one. And I saw it and thought, I guess I gotta have this. But I do plan on maybe, hopefully, going camping some this summer with Tiffany over at PK Mom Life. Hey, Tiffy. So this would probably be something that I would need in my camping arsenal of tricks, right? So I kind of thought somebody said I needed one and maybe I'm going to go camping. That's my plan. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these for a dollar. I needed um, a new fan. This one says blessed. These are just a buck. This is great for spring and summer. It's great in between getting ready. Like if you're putting on your serums, your moisturizers, your primers, your foundation, your whatever. Um, this is good to have one of these handy by your makeup bag or in your purse or wherever in case you're having some hot flashes or something like that. And then this one says Slay. I had this one before and this just reminds me of Slay. Slay Sister Slay That's what I was trying to say. All right. Look how cute. It doesn't come with glue, but these are some fashion fake nails. But those are adorable. I just saw these and I was like, okay, I got to I got to have these. I think I have some nail glue and I'm going to rock these out. The only bad thing you get 12 pieces in here, so you got 10 fingers, so you better hope that 10 pieces in here will fit your <laughs> fit your nails because you only have two extra <laughs> but the color on these was so cute um that leopard print and just the tropical looking color so fun so i grabbed those all right i also grabbed this i've never seen these before it's a little planner they had a pink i want to say it was a hippo or a dinosaur or something like that but then they had this blue well the pink was not okay with me because finn is a boy and i got this for finn but the well his name is is uh norris it says hello my name is norris but it's a planner it's an animal planner plants not included oh here we go that's the one that they did have they did not have a raccoon and they did not have um the sloth i would have probably grabbed one of those two to be honest those are so cute i did not see those Oh, but I got the whale, but we have a little bitty cactus and we're going to replant it in here. I have not opened this. I know this is not going to be very big, but I will show you my cactus and you'll see why I at least upgraded the little cactus's current situation, current potting situation Oh, into this. I don't know. This might not be much better, but oh, that is really cute. It looks much cuter than it did in the box, like the picture in the box. So let me grab my little cactus and show you. Here's our little cactus that we got. We got this at Valentine's Day. I'm hoping it's still alive because at one time he put it outside and Tim put it outside and it was cold. But I've been watering it and it looks healthy. It still looks like it's surviving. But we're going to repot it onto this little thing and put it in here. Um... <laughs> I am taking it out of the pot, I promise. <clears throat> and then if it gets bigger, we'll give it some more room. Um, but to go along with that, which I had no idea about. Too many bags here, guys. Um, <clears throat> potting soil is sold at the Dollar Tree. So I just grabbed this to go along with that. So here's some potting soil. This is eight pounds of potting soil in here it's kind of all down here at the bottom where i've been it's been sitting like this on the floor but eight pounds of potting soil i thought sure i'll grab it for a buck and we can plant his little cactus thing not cactus but succulent <laughs> if i said cactus earlier i'm sorry succulent <clears throat> but that's the plan right now he's at his nana's house so when he comes home i think tomorrow we're gonna do some we're gonna have some fun little projects for the weekend so there is that i'll sit it over here all right i bought these i've heard a lot of different really good reviews about these they're a dollar each i ended up getting i think four of these one, two, 
three, four. These are the solar stake lights that you put outside. <clears throat> and um, I'm kind of pumped to have these. And the reason I'm excited is because we, as in me and my son Finn, <clears throat> we are going to, I decided, <laughs> we're going to build a little fairy garden out back. And I figured those little lights would help illuminate the little area. So with that being said, I bought some little fairy garden stuff. This one's just like the little pavement that you would sit down on the ground for your fairies to play on. I got this, which includes a little waterfall, the little wind mill. What is that water mill? A little water mill, I can't talk today. But that's cute. And these were all a dollar each. I mean, it's the Dollar Tree. Um, got this little bed for them to sleep on when they're tired. So I figured this is going to be a really cute, fun activity for Finn and I to make together. Little stairs made out of logs. So we can put together in the backyard and have some fun. There are some more fairies and stuff. And as I pull them out of the bags, I'll show them to you guys. But this... I'm going to try to hang these out there with the little fairies and the trees back behind the house so the fairies will have an Easter theme and maybe every little holiday we can do a little Easter, I mean a little holiday theme outside for the fairy garden. Just something fun and creative to do. Um, I do have some rocks that Finn has been painting so I wanted to put some Mod Podge over them to keep the coloring on there and this was um, a dollar. <coughs> Finn. Everything's about Finn for this Dollar Tree haul, it seems like. Um, got this snack pack. This is the sugar-free Jellos. It's two strawberry and two orange. And maybe even for mom, because these are only five calories and one carb each. So I'm trying to do a little healthy journey right now. So that might be a little treat for me, too. All right. I have been trying to find these. These are hard to find. These are those grippers. And it's only a dollar. I was so excited to have the to have this to find these. I probably should have grabbed a couple of them because <clears throat> for a buck you can keep one out in your garage or wherever you need to. And I showed somebody else those and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I need one of those." Like my clothes fall behind my washer and dryer a lot, so that's the mission of this gripper is to get those socks and underwear and things that fall behind the washer and dryer. So I was pumped to find that. Very, very excited. <clears throat> All right. Um, I did grab these for a book, more Snyder's pretzels. These have six little um, lunch packs in it. Even though I'm working from home and Finn is not in preschool right now because of COVID, I'm permanently working from home, but he's not in preschool yet. But these are little snacks that he can have. Um, he can have a pretzel bag as a healthier snack. He is into band-aids. Everything is a boo-boo and he has to have band-aids. So here's 30 um, flexible count band-aids and assorted colors. He just goes through the band-aids like crazy. <clears throat> I thought I'd actually gotten more of these. So here's four. So this is three and four. So I did the other two earlier. Um, I got two of these. These are the cotton candy peeps. These are my favorite. Yes, I love peeps. Some people love them, some people don't. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a peeps person or no peeps? Yes to peeps or no to peeps? Vote for the peeps. But these are the cotton candy ones and they're so yummy. There's five little birdies in there. And then I also had seen this on somebody else's haul, but I thought that was so cute. It's just this little wood plaque that says Happy Easter on it. It does have where you can hang it on the wall. It's got your little clip right there. But it is a plaque. You can also just set it up. But I think that's adorable. <clears throat> and I have been looking to buy some Himalayan pink salt for cooking and such. And they have this bag for a dollar. It is really full. And it's up to there. And that is full of, of salt. So you guys can see it there. Um, the brand is Salt 84, I guess. Himalayan pink salt, fine grain. It's one pound of salt in here for a dollar so I was pretty happy to find that. 
All right, um, my younger sister loves, oh, it's flipped around. It's a Dr. Pepper lip smacker. She loves to drink Dr. Pepper and she likes little chapsticks, so I got this for my younger sister. To help mark our fairy garden in the back, I got this cute little frog, little um, metal tin frog. It's a garden stake, technically. Um, it's on a large, longer stake right here, just to put it in the ground, but we'll put this around our fairy garden. I needed a dust pan for the garage. I have a broom out there, but I don't have a dust pan, so I was tired of bringing the one inside, outside to the garage. So I found this one. It looks to be a really nice one for a buck. It's got our, the rubber tip right here. <clears throat> so just a dust pan, your typical dust pan for a dollar. I love the blue color. And then you can also, it's got that hold out where you can attach that to your broom. I found this. This is Heinz 57 a sauce. My friend Scott that comes over loves this stuff. So I got a, a bottle of that to have on hand for him. Here is a fairy garden figurines. This is like a little fire pit. A basket and a doggy. Got three of them in there. I found these little gnomes for the fairy garden. They're so cute. And then I found these guys. Um, I think these are the girls. So these are some girl ones. And the little gnomes, those are all the boys. And then I found these. Um, I believe it's two females and a male. But more little fairies for his garden so he's going to have nine little people and then he has a dog and the fire pit or the fire and the basket <clears throat> and then we also got this right here a little wishing well you got to have a wishing well for your fairies right so we got that <clears throat> And it was so nice. They like wrapped it up in tissue paper. I mean, the Dollar Tree doesn't usually do stuff like that. But that nice one I went to, they really were very nice. Got this little welcome door for the fairy garden. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like. So I'm excited about the little fairy garden. I hope he is excited too. He has no idea about any of this yet. I found this. It also says welcome with two little mushrooms. You got to have mushrooms in your fairy garden. That's just a must too. So got that and then I found these I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them because I can't have four buckets for Finn um, but these are so cute um, for Easter time for the pool for the beach for the lake whatever you're gonna be doing this summer they're so cute they were all a dollar each this is an item I think if you don't get it if you see it it's gonna be gone because they're really stinking cute Okay, and you can also use these as an Easter basket. Um, this is like a dinosaur. Isn't that cute, you all? I just love these. I saw these and I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. So I got one of each one that I saw. So you got the little dinosaur. And the reason I'm thinking beach pool and stuff is because they're a little water pill. You know what I'm saying? So this is a little starfish guy or a fish. No, he's a fish, not a starfish. He's the fishy. He's got his little fins there on the side. Isn't that adorable, you all? And they feel nice. I mean, it's a buck. They feel all right. So if you're going to the beach or something, the pool, that's, that's awesome. All right, got Mr. Shark right here. So, so cute. And they didn't have many of each one, let me tell you. There was only a couple. And then here's the starfish. She is so cute. I'm calling her girl because she's pink. But these are adorable to fill for an Easter basket or, again, for the things that I mentioned earlier. I just think they're super cute. I was very pumped to find those. All right. Another bag. Are you still with me? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, here's the little horned shoe for the fairy garden. I thought that was really cute. And got another pair of cool sunglasses for a dollar for me these are like blue leopard printed animal printed something something i don't know but i thought they were great for a buck i mean i love dollar tree sunglasses just saying for the fairy garden that's like a little gazebo area for them to hang out in 
had to get some bigger items for the fairy garden so I got this like mushroom house that says welcome on it it's a pretty good size so very very cute And then I got this bigger house for them to go in. They gotta have somewhere to sleep. And this one's like made out of a rose. It's an actual rose turned upside down with the door on it and the little mushrooms. Just so cute. I think Finn and I are gonna have a really good time. <clears throat> and again, they wrapped everything in this paper. And then they gotta have like a little lake pond to look in. These little fairies are gonna be spoiled. And then we got a bench. They gotta have a little bench to sit on. Isn't that just the cutest, you all? I'm just really loving this little fairy garden stuff. Too stinking cute. I've always wanted to do one and just never have, so I guess this was the year and the time to do so. All right, so it is Easter time, and just got a few things to fill Finn's Easter basket with. I got a dinosaur's coloring book. All right, it says jumbo, but I remember jumbo was like this big as a kid. That was a jumbo coloring book. This is a skinny coloring book. But I got one that has trucks, all things that um, go for him. Um, and, you know, in these coloring books, there's little activities, but these are just really cute. He's really getting into coloring a little bit more than he has been in the past. And then I thought this was great. This was a paint with water. All they gotta do is get a wet brush and start painting. And they had different ones. This was the animals, and I think they had a princess one or fairies. Um, but as far as a boy, this was the one that I thought was, you know, more boy friendly. So they're already colored. They just gotta get that brush wet and get to painting. So there's that. I got him a little Tom Sawyer book. I am looking for the Huck Finn because his name is Finn. Not that that's not why I named him Finn, but if anybody sees a Huck Finn, because they have Tom Sawyer, they've got um, the Caruso one, and a couple others, but I can't. Here's the whole collection. There's a bunch of them, and they're at the Dollar Tree. I see different ones everywhere. But I cannot find the Huck Finn one. So if you find it, please let me know. And I will pay you for shipping and handling. Because I would love for him to have that one. But he loves stories. And this has um, some really pretty animation in there. It's a good story that we can sit down and read. Probably for about 15 or 20 minutes together. Before bedtime. So I grabbed the Tom Sawyer one. And then I grabbed some cards. Uh, it was my dad's birthday. He doesn't watch my videos, so grabbed a card for my dad. This is from your daughter, so I need to mail this out to my dad. And then I got... <clears throat> um, I have two people in my life that are turning 40 this year. So I got a couple of 40 cards. I don't want to show them because one of them, maybe both of them, watch my videos, so... And then I have my brother has a birthday coming up. His favorite color is green. And this card is very sweet and fits him to a T. So I grabbed that. And that is the place to go. If you guys need cards for any occasion, go to Dollar Tree. All right, guys. We are on my last bag. Thank you so much for staying with me on this haul. I appreciate that so much. Um, I had seen these in somebody else's haul. These are the foam knee pads. I do believe there's only one in this package, okay? Let's just check it out here, make sure. So I grabbed two of them. I haven't been able to find these, but I finally found them. I watch other people's hauls and I'll make my wish list. <laughs> and I go out and buy stuff that way. Yeah, there's only one in each package, but that's what they look like. Um, and then they have the Velcro strap that would go behind your, uh, your leg. But I got these to help with the fairy garden. If I'm out there on my knees, I had knee surgery, so I thought maybe this could give me a little bit of cushion to be able to help Finn out in the yard and play a little bit more. Plus, he got this big turtle sandbox thing for Christmas from Santa, so I know we're going to be outside doing some really fun stuff this summer. So I got those, and if you can find them and you got to paint or clean or even give your child a bath, that will help a whole lot. I thought this was a great find. This is also from Brillo. 
This is a dish um, cleaner. You put your um, dishwashing soap in here and it flows down, goes into the sponge, and then you can clean your dishes with it. This is great for your glasses or whatever. I mean, anything. I love this thing. I haven't had one in a long time, so I was like, I love those things. So I grabbed it. Uh, more Easter bag stuff. This is the double bubble eggs, the egg shaped bubble gum. Found another pair of sunglasses for Finn. These are just some gray ones to keep him all cool and hip looking. And Sour Patch Kids. These are the bunnies. Like I said, he loves gummies and sour. So this is for his Easter basket. He loves these little gold coins or anything he can open up a little like this. Like he calls these the coins. I know they really have gold coins. But he loves to open these, so these are like the Easter themed ones. They have chocolate in it called Bunny Money. Bunny Money. And they're by Palmer. So I grabbed those for his basket. And I can also put these in the eggs and seal those up. <clears throat> I got three of these. This is the Russell Stover's Marshmallow Filled Eggs. If you've watched any of my Dollar Tree hauls, I usually try to grab these at whatever holiday time it is when they have them. They're so yummy and tasty. For a dollar, it's a really great price. I saw that the Dollar Tree flashlights, that these right here um, were a good flashlight, put off a lot of light, and they lasted for a long time. So I grabbed this gray one, and then I grabbed this Lifesaver Hard Candy Spring Mix. I really like these for myself, but I'm trying to be good. But this is raspberry, pineapple, and watermelon flavored for Finn's basket. And I might have at least a sample of each flavor, right? And then I think this is my last item. It is. This is my last item. I got some scented ink pens. These are three packs. They're strawberry, I guess blueberry, and grape. Yeah, no. What? I don't know. I was trying. This looks like strawberry, blueberry, and grape, but they got different fruits on here. So I guess there's some other options. But these are the one, oh grape, strawberry, duh, right here. Grape, strawberry, grape, blueberry, and strawberry scented ink pens. Finally, we can spit it out. Um, I have a planner, and I thought these pens would be cute to use in there, and if they smell good, why not? So. Purple, blue, and then pink ink. Alright. I think I had a really awesome Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did shopping for it. I have my two favorite Dollar Trees. My number one favorite Dollar Tree. I know where it's at. It was an awesome Dollar Tree. So thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. I know this was probably a lengthy one with the variety of items I had, which was over 100 items. So thank you guys so much. Um, but here are my receipts, just to show you. Um, the first one I spent was 81 items, plus my taxes. And then the second Dollar Tree I went to was 21 items. So there we go. 102 items is what I ended up buying. All right, so I do have a Dollar Tree wish list. There's still a couple things on here that I'm eventually gonna find. Need to find some zip ties and a balloon inflator. All right, let me know if you guys have a Dollar Tree wish list. Let me know which item was your favorite that I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.